Welcome to the hooded robe tutorial for baby Yoda. In this video, I'm going to use fleece fabric and I will be doing some gluing on the hem to show that that's possible. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial, I suggest you watch that. That's a better step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial for making this robe. In this video, I just wanted to show the process a little bit more quickly and using fleece and showing how you can glue the hem. You can get the robe pattern on patuji.godaddysites.com and um, the other tutorial link is on that site as well. Do make sure you print the pattern at 100% scale and check against the ruler that's on the pattern pieces. And here I'm just cutting the uh, front and back of the robe. You're going to fold your fabric over and then place that pattern piece on the fold where it says to. And again, I would refer you to the previous video. And so uh, this fabric, by the way, is fleece and it was a fleece blanket, like a throw blanket, uh, for the movie The Eternals, and it was on sale for $5 for this pretty large uh, throw blanket, and uh, yeah, I don't really, I did see the movie, but I don't know who any of these people are. Uh, anyway, so I cut the front piece and the back piece of the robe, um, you have to decide which is front and back. So I made my decision, and then whatever's going to be the front piece, you're going to just uh, fold that in half, only to mark the halfway point. You could measure or however you want to do that, but just cut that front piece in half down the middle. Okay, so I cut that piece in half, and, oh my gosh, fleas can have a lot of fluff. So shake that out. Now I'm going to cut the hood. Have the good side of the fabric on the inside of your fold. Because for the hood, we're just going to go straight into sewing it. And here, just like in the previous video, I'm just clipping that pattern piece on so I can cut the ear slit. Because fleece, you really can't mark it with a pen, especially if it has a bright pattern on it like this does. And then you unclip the pattern piece and then clip at least around two sides, the two sides you're not going to sew. That's how I do it. And you're going to sew the top and the back of the hood. And I use a stitch length of four, straight stitch. So that hood is done. Make sure you just uh, press your seams out. Not I don't mean press with an iron, I mean just push your seam out. Uh, do not iron fleece, because usually it has some plastic in it, and it will melt and make a big mess. Now you're going to sew the front and the back of the robe together. And again, your the good sides of your fabric should be on the inside of the sandwich. And in the prior video, in that tutorial, the fabric was white on the back side, so it made it very easy to see what was going on. And so you're going to sew around uh, the top of the arm. Do not sew where the hand comes out and then sew the bottom of the arm around the armpit and down the side seam. 
And I do backstitch at the beginning and the end. And really, you could just have a little jacket at this point, but I'm going to put the hood on. And it's not great as just a jacket, because it is designed to have a hood on it. Maybe I'll make a tutorial for a jacket sometime. Now you're going to attach the hood. I think this is the trickiest part of the project. Just make sure that the hood is like upside down and is the right orientation. You're going to match up the middle back of the hood with the middle back of the robe. So basically just the middles. And then check the orientation of the ear slits. They should be vertical because the hood's upside down. The danger here is putting it on sideways, and I have done that before. And then you have to rip your whole seam out. Now make sure the sides are aligned. That's kind of the most important thing. If you watched the previous tutorial, you'll understand that uh, the middle can be a bit messy, but the sides should be lined up. So yes, yeah, sew in from one side to the middle, and then from the other side to the middle. If you're hand sewing, I don't know, I, I think you should still probably do it that way. And by the way, none of this can be glued. This all has to be sewn. When we get to the hemming, then we can glue. Okay, now we get to try the robe on. It is not hemmed yet, so it'll be big. Let's just make sure that the ears fit through the slits. And if you've used fleece, usually it has stretch to it. And the ears should go through pretty well. Uh, by the way, when you're putting the robe on, the back is always going to have to be adjusted. You just tuck the collar up a little bit and pull the hood down. And then it's going to fit properly. So if you're trying to put it on and it feels like it's too tight and it won't close in the front, check the back and, and check the collar and make sure the hood is hanging over the collar. All right, here we go. We're going to hem it now. And this is where I meant to do the whole thing with glue. But, um, well, either way, you're going to clip it around like I'm doing here. So whether you're sewing or gluing, um, you want to clip around the hem. And now I took it to the machine and sewed it around, but you could glue it. And I will be gluing after this. And you would just do this part the same way. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so here's just my sewing. It wasn't the cleanest sewing. <laughs> there was one cool thing that happened in the Eternals at the end. Uh, I won't give any spoilers, but uh, there's a pretty massive event with a celestial being. That's about all I remember about the movie. Angelina Jolie was in it. And she was crazy or something. The bottom part I'm going to hem with glue. There's also a hem tape. I haven't tried that. Maybe I'll try that in a different video. 
Now I clipped it here. I suppose you don't have to clip it first, but like I said, I was uh, about to sew it when I remembered I'm supposed to glue it. So you could just start gluing and then clip it uh, to hold it in place. And you could try different amounts of glue. This is just Elmer's glue. And that is water soluble. It's going to wash out if I put it in the laundry. So this I will not put in the laundry. And when I glue the sleeves, I will show you with fabric glue. So here I'm just um, winging it, kind of uh, putting some glue and pressing it down and clipping it. Here I'm using metal clips, which in the last video, if you saw that, metal clips should not be used with glue because you can get some rusting. And right after I clipped all this, I realized and I replaced them with plastic clips. It's a danger when you make videos in small segments over different days. You just, and you have like 52 other things going on during every day. <laughs> and yeah, so just gluing, pressing, and clipping. With this fabric, it really wasn't too much of a problem. It, it stuck pretty well. And there are those plastic clips, so just leave it to dry for however long it needs. I went away for a very long time. And the fabric glue that I tried next, that did take longer to glue than the Elmer's, or longer to dry. So this is like a time lapse here. Uh, and the glue is now dry. I'm taking the clips off. The Elmer's did feel kind of stiff, but it was totally fine. Uh, the fit was okay. It curved around how it had to. Moving right along to the cuffs. Those I'm going to glue with Fabric Fusion. It's a fabric glue. This is very old. It's probably been in my attic for over 10 years, but amazingly it still works. When you get to the end of the circle here, it can be a, a little awkward, but just work it and uh, make sure nothing is bunched up. And it really wasn't too difficult to get it in a nice circle. And since fleece usually is stretchy when you're sewing and gluing, just be careful not to pull hard on the fabric. Right, the thing is, Sir Charles believed all sorts of wild legends about the area. Anything and everything, from Arthurian legends to the pits of Tartarus to little fairy creatures perched on mushrooms. One could almost believe in the supernatural, the way the lights in the mire glowed, sort of greenish, leading wary wanderers into the mire and at night, one hears the howling of a lonely moor chicken. And time lapse to later, removing the clips. This fabric glue was a little bit softer, not as stiff as the Elmer's glue, but it's still a little stiffer than if you sew. Looks pretty good. Let's try it on now. 
should be a good fit because it's done now. And don't forget about the back, has to be tucked under. Tucked under and tucked over. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that really. It looks good. But since the fabric is very slippery, when Patu moves around, that hood sort of slid off his head. <laughs> And here's a little secret you can use. Don't tell anyone. Put a little tape. Let's make a little loop of tape. I use that painter's tape, like that blue tape that they sell at like Home Depot and stuff. It works really well. And now that hood's not going to move around. This was a prior one that <laughs> didn't come out so well uh, that I made like months ago. But this I did glue around the entire thing, and it looked fine, and it was fine. Good job. All right, it's done. Looking good. <laughs>